everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Today I have an Aldi grocery haul for you and this is a bit of a healthier food haul I think. Uh, we're getting a gym membership, trying to do things better, so trying to buy more whole foods instead of processed foods. So let's go ahead and get on into it. So start off with we have a head of cauliflower and all of the prices will be listed um, up here below, up here somewhere so you guys can see how much we pay for everything um, I'm not I think we paid 113 total but prices will be up here somewhere so we have one head of cauliflower we actually got several heads of these but here's one of them um, bag of russet potatoes and at all these it seems that most of their potatoes are like 299 so even if you're not going to go through a five pound bag it's almost more economical to buy the five pound bag because otherwise you get like a two or a three pound bag and it's still the same price, so might as well get the big ones. So we also made a quick stop at Walmart. I wanted to get some things for making fruit smoothies in the morning, so I picked up some vanilla Greek yogurt at Walmart, um, and I also got one more thing, but I'll show that to you when we get to that bag. We got two things of Caesar croutons, not the healthiest thing in the world, but we really like them on our salads. Um, a few things of fruit juice. We have the 100% juice mango passion fruit. And this is going to be for making our fruit smoothies in the morning. And then there's also two things of 100% apple apple juice <laughs> from Simply Nature. And a box of frosted flakes. My husband loves these, so he went ahead and picked those up. We also got some bananas. My Aldi's only have like super green bananas, so it's going to be a couple days before we can eat these. But that's okay, at least they won't go bad too quickly. And we also got a gallon of whole milk. In here we have three loaves of whole wheat bread. And also an eight count pack of tortilla, flour tortillas. <laughs> Um, we've been loving these for making like chicken Caesar salad wraps. They're so good. So from Walmart, we also picked up a bag of frozen fruit. This is for the smoothies. And some curtain hooks. <laughs> so instead of potato chips, I am trying to move over towards more snacking on like nuts and carrots. So we picked up a thing of salted mixed nuts. Getting the, all, the, getting the unsalted obviously would have been a better choice, but slow baby steps here. Okay, this is still better than regular potato chips. <laughs> we got two packs of lunch meat. We got chicken and turkey. <coughs> two bags of shredded cheese. We have the Italian style blends and the Colby Jack. Then we have a little packet of Munster cheese slices. And a bag of chicken nuggets. My son is weird with me, and chicken nuggets is pretty much like the only kind of meat we can really get him to eat on a regular basis. So we keep these around. They're better than McDonald's. You just pan, not pan fry them. I put them in the oven, bake them. Um, you get like 200 calories for five pieces, and he doesn't eat five pieces. He eats like three to four pieces, but we keep those, those on hand for him. We got two things of Parmesan cheese. I feel like this was a bit of like an impulse habit buy because I only bought one thing of pasta and so I don't, <laughs> I don't know why we need all of this Parmesan cheese. I think I just picked it up out of habit. Um, we have like four cans of sweet peas. I love to snack on these. My son loves them too. Like peas is like a guaranteed vegetable for him. Everything else is kind of like a hit or a miss, but peas, sweet ones, he will always eat them. We picked up some ranch dressing, some French dressing, and some Caesar dressing. Some minced onion flakes. I love the taste of onion in my food when it's cooked, but I don't like getting like a sharp bite of onion, so I find that the minced onion flakes does perfect for that. Then we got some sweet and sour sauce and some teriyaki sauce. Some garlic salt. Some chunky salsa. Some queso, cheese queso, and some plain applesauce, and another can of sweet peas. So with this, I plan on doing up like either maybe tacos 
or like a chicken taco salad. So I'll definitely need some of this on hand. And then sometimes I like to do up like cheesy vegetables. So I'll steam some vegetables and add some cheese to them. So that's what we got that for as well. And then of course with the applesauce, I do like to add cinnamon to it. But this is just like the plain unsweetened applesauce. And as for these little guys, I forgot to mention what we like to do with them. We just like to take some vegetables, which I didn't buy in this haul because we have like three bags already. But Walmart has like big bags from Bird's Eye of frozen mixed vegetables. You can get the Normandy blend, you can get California blend, and you can also get a stir fry blend. And I just steam the vegetables in a big pot on the stove. I grill some chicken, add to it, and we'll do either sweet and sour or teriyaki. So we have another pack of Munster cheese. We have some pulled chicken. This stuff is so good. It's really easy to make in the microwave, like three minutes. And I like to stuff a baked potato. So I put a potato in the microwave for, you know, six minutes or however long it takes to cook. And then pile it up with some pulled chicken. It's really good like that. You can also easily make your own pulled chicken. Throw some chicken thighs in your crock pot with a little bit of water. Let them cook all day. And then add some barbecue sauce and shred them. Then we also picked up some beef steak tips with vegetables and gravy. We've never tried this before, but it looked really good. And here we have all of our chicken thighs. Um, they range in price from about 4 to $5 per pack, just depending on um, size. So this one's like $5.38, and we have $5.08, in case you're wondering. And then this one is $5.18. So um, I also seen some of the store for $4. I just didn't grab one of those up for whatever reason. Um, all of mine are around $5 a piece. And chicken thighs, obviously a good source of, pro good source of protein, um, but I prefer these because they're cheaper than chicken breast. You get six in a pack for about $5, and they're very versatile, um, they're very easy to use, they stay nice and juicy, they don't dry out on you. You can cook them on a high heat, you can cook them on a low heat. Um, they're just great. So I've really subbed out my chicken breast for chicken thighs. I would highly recommend them to anybody. And anything you're going to do with chicken breast, you can do with chicken thighs for half the price. <laughs> so I had to get me some kind of a pasta. So we got some cheese ravioli because I can't quit cold turkey. But this is what we got with some, chip, some cheese ravioli. So those would be good to have on hand. Um, you know, if I'm just not feeling like cooking and want something quick and easy, those are nice to have on hand. And I think you get like four meals out of it. So, oh, there's five servings per. So, you know, definitely feed us all three for like one meal as a family and then only like two leftovers for like lunches or whatever. Got another thing of chicken nuggets. And then about a million and one bags of steamed mixed vegetables. They're frozen and then you put them, put them in the microwave for about five minutes. So they come with like um, corn, peas, green beans, and carrots. My son loves this stuff. They also sell... Um, just your frozen basic green beans. My husband and I like those. My son will eat it. But strangely enough, he'll eat pretty much everything out of here. Um, he kind of picks around the green beans, but he eats the corn, the peas, and the carrots. So we've kind of moved over to buying these. But it's just the vegetables. They're flash frozen. You put them in the microwave for about five minutes. Can't get any easier than that. They're a great side dish. And I like to add a little bit of garlic salt to mine. Um, but we have them almost on a nightly basis. And we have seven packs of them. <laughs> that should last us a good two weeks. Okay, folks, we are down to our last bag. So we're rolling out here. We have a head of lettuce. <laughs> I think there's two of those guys in there. And we have a bag of baby carrots. Great for munching on. And then our dog also really likes them. Fun little story here. Every night she needs to go to bed. We need, to go, need her to go to a crate. We get out a couple carrots and we tell her to go to bed. And she runs for her bed. She knows she gets her carrots. <laughs> So they're as much for the dog as they are for us. A second head of cauliflower. And one head of, one head, one um, baby seedless watermelon. So if you guys are curious how I use my kitchen food saver, I will link a video down below in case you're interested in getting one. I love the one that I have. The name of it is slipping me right now, but I do have an entire tutorial on my kitchen food saver. And what it does is it vacuum packs my food into little packets and then I can freeze them. So I love to do that with my chicken. It helps it keep for, you know, a couple months. And I also like to do it with my cauliflower. I'll just chop it up and stick it in the little vacuum pack bags, seal it up, and then it's good to go for a few months. 
um, because I know cauliflower is one of those things. It's, it's a little bit of an expensive vegetable right now. It's close to about two dollars in my area, and they can only keep for about a week. Um, but we love having cauliflower on hand for doing a cauliflower mash. Uh, so when I showed you guys the beef tips, instead of doing regular mashed potatoes, we'll probably do up some cauliflower mash. Um, but if we don't eat cauliflower mash within the week, it goes bad. So freezing it really works out. So that video will be linked below if you want a tutorial on that. But otherwise, that is it for my video today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you do like my Aldi grocery hauls and you want to watch more of them, I'll leave a link to the playlist down below. So definitely go check that out. And I'll see you guys in my next video.